I wanted to give you a quick tutorial on using the Wi-Fi transfer within Embrilliance to send files to your baby lock or brother Wi-Fi enabled embroidery machine. Um, before you begin this process, you want to make sure that your computer and your machine are on the same wireless network. If you don't know how to do that, uh, just leave a comment below and I can try to walk you through it. Um, so I pulled up just a quick patch design that I had digitized for my shop. And I'm going to go up here to Utility and send to Solaris XP1. It's called that because at the time Embrilliance added this feature to the software, Solaris and the XP1 or the Luminaire were the only two machines on the market that had the Wi-Fi transfer. So we're going to select that. Just for simplicity's sake, we're going to name this Design 1. And we're going to hit OK. It does take a minute to kind of find that machine on the network and transfer it over. Um, it's important to know that if you have more than one Wi-Fi machine on the network, it may or may not send to all machines. So after it sends, you get a result box. The result will either say error sending, please try again, or it'll say the file is transferred. In my experience, um, it's usually about 50-50 when you get the error message. So we're just gonna hit okay. We're gonna go over to my machine here. This is the Baby Lock Vesta. It's a combo machine, very similar to the Brother 3600. We're going to hit our little pocket button, which is where designs are saved. And then we're going to choose this, the little Wi-Fi with the pocket. And look at that, our design is here. So we can just select it, hit set, and then we're ready to sew. Um, again, sometimes you get that error message that says try again, and you do need to try again. Sometimes you get a message that says the file has transferred and it doesn't really transfer. Um, but just keep trying until you get the, um, the file sent over. Um, of course, there are easier ways to do this as well. You can save the file to a USB and put it in the side of the machine there. And then to pull up from a USB, you would again choose the pocket and then you would just choose the USB. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know.